Uh, hi everyone, this is uh, just a quick tutorial on how to uh, hand draw axonometrics. Uh, so we'll start off with uh, just some uh, fundamentals. Here's a, here's a square, let's call this a plan. Uh, you can see that that's 90 degrees there, or let's call it 90 degrees. Then what we're going to do is uh, we'll turn it through an angle. So you can either turn it through 45 degrees and get something that looks like that. And there's our 90 degree there. And if we were to draw a line across here, you've got 45 degrees there and 45 degrees in the other direction. Uh, or you can uh, rotate it even further and have it at uh, 30 degrees and 60 degrees over here. They give slightly different sort of views but um, uh, or impressions, but you can see every time that the 90, 90 and 90 of the internal angle is being preserved. So the great advantage of doing, doing axonometrics like this is that the uh, plan remains the same. So if the plan was a, a square, then it remains the same. So um, let's redraw our square here and then uh, to do your uh, axonometric to project it into three dimensions you um, project each vertical point upwards and so here we go we pick a dimension uh, here call that D and then we project along in this uh, our 45 degree axis until you get this one extend it up and so now I didn't need to measure this one. Uh, oh, well, I guess I can because I'm doing it by uh, eye. But um, uh, but if you were using a, a, a T-square and a, a triangle, um, you wouldn't need to actually measure that one. You'd just project until it hits it. And then we'll do the same here in this direction. Get this point here, project it up. And you see you just extend it a little bit uh, beyond the point. So then you know that it intersects. Now we're going in parallel with these faces here, these edges and faces. So we project that line and then this one, you project that line up there. And we can finish it off by putting a dotted line in the back here for the hidden line. And in fact, these are hidden lines as well. And then maybe we can shade this in. Makes it seem a little bit more 3D and then another trick that you'll see a lot um, with these drawings is just going around the outside of it like that makes it seem like it stands out even let's just thicken all of these lines up except for the hidden ones and you can see it's really starting to sort of pop out of the page okay so that's a um, cube not particularly not particularly sort of uh, useful so let's just draw ourselves a something a little bit more complicated. So here's an L shape. Now in the last example I projected upwards and you could see that uh, you could see that the um, uh, I had hidden lines that were sort of uh, showing. So if we actually project downwards and work from the front to the back, so the front to the back in this direction, the front to the back in this direction, then you'll see that um, uh, you don't cross over yourself so much. So We'll project downwards and then project this one down, so a line across there, project this one down, same distance, and then track that line in there. Now this one, we project down from that point, and we can't see a point to project to, but we know that it's going to be parallel to this line here. And there we go. Shade that in. And without the hidden lines, it uh, reads a lot more like a lot more like a solid already, right? Uh, we can add to this thing. So um, how about we uh, make a wall that is that thick and projects up from there. So again, working from the front or the front plane, um, I can project upwards and then follow that one along project back along this axis and you can see I'm going from sort of uh, left angle to the right of the angles
and then you can see again I've got these um, hidden lines and here I don't have them at the back there because I was just projecting through um, so let's just shade this one in again and hopefully that will make it read a little bit more uh, three-dimensionally so you see now it's sort of beginning to sort of stand out a little bit uh, you can project downwards as well so let's put a um, sort of a u-shaped wall around the front here um, so project down like that we can go backwards that far then we project across here so I'm not going to put a dotted line through there but I do you can see that I'm sort of tracking that um, uh, being parallel to this face here and then give it some thickness come this way and then this one will make it line up with the front face here so I'll come across here and then drop it down project from this one across to here then drop this one down project back here then drop this one well this one already dropped but across like that and again the shading definitely helps this thing to read in three dimensions uh, we can cut stuff out of it so let's say we project this up here and then if I project across from here and project down so see I've, I've skipped that little part there but I did project it from that point down and then make it parallel with this now you can see I can finish that off and you can see I've got a cut out and it looks like I can go through here like that in fact what if it was a, um, a sort of a sloping site like this um, then maybe I'll uh, project this down like this and then project into here and now it looks like that whole wall well, that sort of doesn't quite fit into there you can see that if I project this along here this one will drop down further I'll show that in too there we go so um, just by sort of uh, adding elements and projecting and remembering to keep everything parallel, um, you can build up uh, you can build up geometries uh, over time. Um, one other thing is I'll I'll just quickly shade in some of these or shade thicken the edges. Sorry. Often people just go around the edge right around the outside of the the whole geometry like this but I think um, you can actually get some advantage by picking out some of those overlapping elements and it makes it sort of stand out even more yeah so choose these uh, with some sort of uh, uh, logic in mind how they sort of uh, objects that sort of flow over the top of one another uh, or pass over the top you can sort of thicken that edge even though it's not the outside of the whole geometry all right so uh, there you go